back when I was still working, you could send a letter to me to Captain Flood, Denver Federal Center, and it would get to me. Name any big flood since 1970, and you can bet Bob Jarrett was there. His job with the U.S. Geological Survey was to research the storms and the destruction they left behind. Uh, to see the suffering is, is hard. It, it's hard. Now in his retirement, he says the headlines of today are stunning. 3,000-year floods in two weeks, Kentucky, St. Louis, and Death Valley. After dissecting big storms and big floods for more than 50 years, Jarrett's research is pointing towards more trouble. We are, we are going to get more storms, and we're going to get bigger storms than we're expecting. He says the storms are already dropping heavier rain than we realize. The most intense part of a storm can easily conceal itself from the measurements of scientists, eluding rain gauges and even radars. I think the data is, is clearly showing that we're underestimating how big these storms are by, by 40 to 60 percent. And that's, that's an uncertainty level that I'm certainly very uncomfortable with. Jarrett's research is not new, but it applies more now than ever. If he's right, what we're calling a 1,000-year rainstorm is more likely a 200- or 300-year storm. And a 100-year storm, like the one that hit City Park in Denver on Sunday, would be a 50-year storm. He says the public should know the true potential that today's rainstorms are really packing. So that people know how to react when, when they're suddenly thrust in front of these storms that are occurring in minutes. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News. Jarrett's calculations don't take climate change into account. If you add projections from climate models, it would add an additional 10 to 25% more rain on top of the underestimated amounts.